Well, Ayush and I have spent a day at the Auto Expo. It's been busy. There have been several launches. We can't tell you about all of them, but we can tell you about some of the coolest concepts here. The one behind me, of course, is the first launch that Maruti Suzuki did today, and that's the design philosophy that it intends to employ from here on out. What Ayush is standing with is perhaps what's more interesting between the two, and I'm going to let him tell you all about it. Ayush? Definitely the more interesting of the two because if you are if you're adventurous and you like off-roading well then Maruti Suzuki thinks at this auto expo that the future is all about FACE Alex it's four-wheel drive autonomous connected and electric isn't that the theme absolutely at this auto electric expo? is ev what everyone's talking about I can't imagine what an electric car would look like climbing up the face and that's of what this car can do if this car was well from dreams to reality if it actually made that transformation well you can actually switch and actually move from automatic to manual oh, with the touch of, a, of the screen we're going to show you. Those are massive wheels for an off-roading experience. And have a look at that screen, Alex. That's out from a, straight out of a Star Wars or Star Trek movie there. And don't miss the crystal ball. Apparently, apparently that can, can connect all of your devices. It can do a lot of other things with regard to media over there. I don't know exactly what it's going to do, but it does, it does look interesting. Is. This is definitely one for the future. And well, the Jetsons and all those fancy futuristic movies and cartoons are not too far away. And it's not just here. There's a lot more to show you. Jaguar Land Rover. Tata Motors. Jaguar Land Rover. Tata Motors, you want my specs as well? It's Tata Motors. It's Jaguar Land Rover. Are you this vehicle is one of two that were showcased by Tata Motors today as concept. This one is derived from the D8 of the Jaguar Land Rover. Sounds interesting. The car looks fantastic. We can only hope the concept, well, is a lot like the real thing. And the real thing is a lot like the concept, but it looks spacious on the inside. We take you for a quick, quick, well, walkabout. Massive tires. Alex? So, I, I take your point, I take your point. You know, essentially, this is, uh, this is what is called the Omega platform. The other one that they showcase is the Alpha platform. That is for, for, for a much smaller car. Yes. So the Omega platform essentially is going to be what the SUVs that they develop over the course of the next couple of years will be based on. And this really showcases that finally, something we've all been waiting for, JLR and Tata, well the synergies are showing in design and the product. Design philosophy as well. Well, there's more and we're going to take you now to a race car, Alex. Let's race you there. Come on. Alex, pinch yourself, it's not a dream. That, well, Formula E engine in that Batmobile-like car, well, should we take a ride in it? I don't think they're going to let us take a ride in it. I was just going to say, it, it looks like it's come out straight from a movie. Are you? It has, Alex, and I think, well, we missed that bus. But just to let them know what we've all missed out on, 0 to 100 in what? 4, four seconds, seconds? 360 <laughs> horsepower. I can only imagine how fast it goes. And all electric. I can, I, I don't know. I, I can barely imagine how fast that would go, but then look, that's what it's all about. It's a dream. The it's Renault a concept. Trezor. It's, it's a, concept. a concept. The Renault Trezor is a concept. I wanted to add that as well. And well, it is a dream. And well, we thought we'd live the dream, but now what we'll have to do is hitch a ride and get back home. Thanks so much for watching. Stay tuned.